do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in the last lecture we have studied about first law and second law of thermodynamics and now we are moving towards the last concept that is known as third law of thermodynamics so what is what is it let us talk about that so this is the statement of the third law of uh, thermodynamics so let me uh, explain that also but before reading uh, let us see that what does it says that the entropy of a perfectly ordered crystalline substance is zero at absolute zero of temperature or at absolute zero temperature so before understanding the all the concepts of uh, the third law of thermodynamics it is very essential for us to understand what is the statement of the third law of thermodynamics it clearly says that the entropy of a perfectly ordered uh, crystalline substance is zero at absolute zero temperature it says that whenever whether it is about solid liquid or gas as we know that the solid has the less um, entropy compared to that of liquid and compared to that of gas but if we are talking about a pure crystal and if we are talking about a pure crystal at absolute temperature that is 0 kelvin then any of the substance whose present in 0 kelvin will be forming a pure crystal and at that case what happens is whenever the pure crystal is at a temperature of absolute zero that is 0 kelvin then that substance will have an entropy zero that means there will be no vibration or there will be no kind of disorder all the atoms or molecules that are been arranged to make that substance will be in an ordered manner and that's the reason the disorder will be very much minimum or we could say that uh, it would be zero so this is what the third law of thermodynamics means but there are few another explanations of that also and what are the useful things uh, based on the third law of thermodynamics so let us uh, learn about that also so talking about the first one that is the third law of thermodynamics deals with the entropies of the perfect crystalline substance at absolute zero temperature so that is what we have did in the statement also so it deals with the entropies of the crystal at perfect uh, perfect crystals at uh, absolute zero temperature but uh, talking about the second law and first law it was not related to the perfect crystal it was uh, related to the entropy and somewhere it was related to the enthalpy of a particular uh, reaction as well as we could say as heat or that kind of energy that it was associated but now it is uh, the third law that we are talking about it is related to the entropy of a pure crystalline substance at a zero temperature so that is what it is main concerned of so now talking about the next one this law is true only for those substances which exist in perfectly crystalline form at zero kelvin so for zero for those substances only which can exist as a perfect crystal at zero kelvin this rule is validated for those substances only so this is what we have got to know and let's learn further it says that if a perfectly ordered crystalline substance with entropy is equals to 0 at the temperature of 0 kelvin is heated from 0 kelvin to a desired temperature means we are increasing the temperature now from 0 kelvin to 1 kelvin 2 kelvin means we are increasing the temperature uh, above 0 kelvin so what happens is at 0 kelvin as we have understood that at 0 kelvin the perfectly crystalline substance will have an entropy of 0 but if we increase the temperature then there is a chances that we are uh, increasing the disorder of that substance so that disorder of the substance might will have or will have a value uh, positive of the entropy so that is what they are saying that the entropy increases due to increase in vibrational motions of the molecules obviously that we because of, of which we have uh, heated that uh, substance or we have increased the temperature of that uh, particular substance there will be chance that the molecules will vibrate with each other or because of which since there is a movement or since there is uh, a kind of disorder we could see that uh, the entropy will be not be zero that will be more than zero so the increase in entropy is given by the formula that is delta s is equals to st minus s0 and in this case the st is nothing but the entropy of a product substance at a desired temperature while minus s0 is nothing but the entropy of a substance at zero kelvin or at absolute zero temperature but let me tell you further thing also a more uh, important thing suppose uh, if a crystalline uh, substance uh, is 
is present at zero degree Celsius, and uh, we could see that the uh, the crystal that has been uh, formed that has not been uh, in a pure orderly manner. Suppose then that will also have an entropy because because the substance is not perfectly order means there is a chance of something disorder in the substance and that kind of disorder substance will also have a kind of entropy which will not be zero even though being at zero Kelvin so even there are chances so this is what the entropy was the thing when it comes to at absolute zero temperature so moving on further the value of ST that is uh, the entropy at a desired temperature can be determined by measuring the heat capacity of the solid at various temperature and using the expression like this where delta S is equals to ST minus S0 which is nothing but the ST because S0 is a, something which has a, a zero value because uh, entropy at zero Kelvin is nothing but zero according to the third law of thermodynamics. So we could calculate uh, the heat capacity of the solid at various temperatures. So that is the reason they have given us here zero minimum uh, limit is zero and maximum is still T. So if we integrate it, we could uh, completely uh, uh, get to know that what would be the change in the entropy of that particular solid. And since the uh, uh, crystalline is for uh, solid, so therefore the solid is been uh, being mentioned here. And uh, by uh, determining various uh, 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 that is heat capacity uh, at various temperature uh, and by integrating it, it will be very much easy to calculate the change in entropy of that particular system or the entropy at that desired temperature because in that case we know that the entropy at uh, 0 Kelvin is 0. So from that we could determine the entropy of that particular substance also. So moving further. So during the heating process, the heat capacity of the substance is determined at temperature above zero Kelvin from the solid, liquid or gaseous state. So we cannot determine uh, the entropy uh, of a substance, suppose if uh, what I am trying to say it as, because at zero uh, absolute temperature, the entropy of a substance will be zero. But above zero degrees uh, or above zero kelvin the entropy of a system cannot be zero it will have some value so therefore uh, whenever we are heating uh, to a particular solid liquid or gas so there are chances that the because of the heat capacity of the substance uh, it will change and it will have a kind of uh, uh, entropy change that we could observe and that would be more than zero so the standard molar uh, entropy that is S0 can also be uh, measured by the pure substance at 25 degrees Celsius and at one atmosphere. So this is a value that we are going to learn in our future. So this S0 that is S0 is nothing but the uh, standard molar entropy even this can be calculated with the help of the third law of thermodynamics. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have got an idea that what is actually third law of thermodynamics. It is basically related to the entropy of a uh, perfectly crystalline substance at zero uh, absolute temperature which is nothing but zero so thank you friends for watching this video share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe channel. thank you so much